Hey everyone, it's me, Soup. Thanks for tuning in. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I pointed out the fact that I was having GoPro issues. Uh, this was August 2021. That's about where I'm at in uploading videos. And so this current one I'm about to post is the last one before my GoPro craps out. One day it just said fatal error, erased my entire memory card, which had about two weeks worth of footage on it. Very frustrating. It had the conclusion of the repairs on the S690, so we don't get to see that. I'm sorry, it's more frustrating for me than you know, but yeah, that sucks. And we miss a bit of harvest. Uh, so I was frustrated with my GoPro. I stopped using it for a bit and was just using my iPhone, uh, which happened to be this iPhone. It survived getting run over by a forklift in the spring. Unfortunately, it could not survive going through an auger. And so I lost some footage on that. So it's a bit spotty coming up here. Uh, there's a couple missing weeks. And then hopefully it's back to normal. So I apologize. Hopefully you continue to watch and hopefully I have learned my lesson. Be out there. Oh, lovely. How's it going up there? Well, definitely tied off. Yeah, I see that. It's, it's hard to make out on camera, but. Straight cut header. Header's ready to go. Better just confirm one thing. Yeah, okay. The hitch is actually properly attached this time. Good, good. Just gotta drop the pickup header. And you'll be hooking up to the straight cut. Got the straight cut header connected there. They're just trying to sort out the GPS and there's something wrong with the tilt. And, uh, yeah, gonna empty out this sucker. circus right now just gonna move the grain cart over so Randy uh, doesn't have to come all the way down here so I believe we're gonna go do some other stuff while he combines blue and o-ring I guess must be been so mad never actually had this part it's pretty good considering we've got a lot of hours on her but that's two in as many trips, so. But I mean, that shuts a guy down. <laughs> that literally shuts a guy down. I couldn't spray anymore. Five cent little piece of rubber? Yeah. Well, five cent from Walmart, but probably five bucks from, from Deer. Yeah. Because they don't sell you one of these. They sell you a little Ziploc bag that costs you like 18 bucks and it's got five or six. <laughs> Every time with this thing. Randy is looking right full now. So far, so good. First successful dump on the fly here with the grain cart. I think it went well. Larry and Randy cruising. Yeah, 
okay, so update. The uh, last grain, last wheat that uh, Randy was taking off was coming back at 20% moisture, so that's way too high. So we stopped and I'm heading back to the yard with what we have for wheat. And Jeff has the last truckload that we're gonna put in the uh, larger bin with a fan so we can dry it out. Been a weird couple days here with that smoke and weather. So yeah, that's, that's what we're up to. So Jeff's just moving that auger into place. on the header so you decided to bring it home I'm gonna go dump the grain cart into the peat because it's also going in that wet bin moist moist bin the auger on the grain cart is way too fast compared to the one we're using to fill the bin so this truck is Never gonna be empty. It's snowing. Is the cart empty? Fan works. Cart empty? No. no. Too fast. Yeah. Excellent. We are just moving the last of the uh, seed that isn't dry. Jeff put some in a bin before he tested it. So we're just gonna put that with the other stuff in the bin with some air going through it. All right. Larry's swathing away there. He's gonna do one more lap and shut her down. Which is what we're doing. Not a bad day. A little frustrating with that straight cut header, but all in a day's work at the farm. So until tomorrow, 